Hey friends, what's up? Ash here with Gent Sense. I'm in a good mood because today is a huge freaking day for me. That's right, my fragrances are out again. But these are new ones. Three fragrances done in collaboration with the brand Michael Malul launching today. And I've got a link in the description to each one of these and also Michael Malul's website in case you wanna check them out. If you do decide to pick anything up, use the code GENTSENSE, it's G-E-N-T-S-C-E-N-T-S. -E Not gents sense, gent sense. That'll get you 20% off. But these fragrances, man, I absolutely love these scents, which I should because I worked on them with the perfumer to have them created. So if I didn't like them, that would be weird. Let's jump into it. There's a lot to talk about. I'll tell you the notes, the perfumers. I'll show you the presentation, everything. Let's jump into it. Okay, so as I said, these were done in collaboration with Michael Malul. In case you don't know who they are, again, link in the description. I did a fragrance with them last year called Jet Black Enigma, which was a limited edition release, 5,000 bottles, sold out pretty quick, within a month. Basically, as soon as Enigma got done, I started work on these ones. And I guess a little more backstory on Michael Malul. So the official name of the brand is Michael Malul London, but they're actually headquartered in Columbus, Ohio. I actually just went there not that long ago, got to meet the entire team, everybody there. Super cool people. Uh, they've got one headquarters in like New Albany, and then they have like a big warehouse also. They've got like two warehouses, but I'm getting all over the place. Yeah. They're headquartered up there in uh, two separate spots. And I've seen before people asking like, what's the deal with the name Michael Malul? Uh, I can't tell the story as well as the CEO, but essentially it's like uh, the two people who started the brand, their names put together like that, just squished together, Michael Malul. But then one of them left, so there's only one, one, one half of Michael Malul that's still, still there. <laughs> Running everything, calling the shots. The big man, the boss man. I did once see somebody say, uh, is Michael Malul a Latov brand? <laughs> like, what? No. <laughs> what? Latov brand. It's like, just because the name is like vaguely Middle Eastern. Oh, there must be a... <laughs> anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Fragrances, that's what's important. Let's talk about them. So uh, prices, all of these are retail at 140. If you use the code, it's 112. First off, Jet Black Enigma is getting a proper release. No longer limited. This is the actual release. Same fragrance though, same one as from last year, new presentation. So uh, you got the front of the box here with the name, uh, size and concentration, it's in Eau de Parfum. Up top, it says Michael Malul X Gen Sense. And then on the back, you're gonna have the notes. So this one is a production box. So there's a little sticker on the back. That's not gonna be there, obviously, uh, with the one that you get, should you get it. So this one has a top of ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, and black pepper, a mid of saffron, vanilla, labdanum, and vetiver, and a base of cypriol, oud, patchouli, and tonka. And here is the bottle really heavy in the hand. I think it looks clean, looks very slick. I love the little swoop design that we came up with. I know it's simple, but I think it looks awesome. You got the name of the fragrance on there. And also each one of these, the little plate on the front, there's a, a little sticker over it that you peel off that we left on there. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, we decided to leave those on uh, because I know that some people, they, they like to you know, peel things like that. I know. You can see there the cap and the little plate has the, the same little swoop design. You got an M up top. Cap has a nice amount of heft to it and uh, atomizers are pressurized. So here we go, I'll show you guys. Each one of these has the same atomizer type on it. So yeah, Jet Black Enigma, as I said, uh, 5,000 bottles, went through it real quick last year and we got a bunch of emails, I did, they did, uh, people asking, is it ever gonna come back out again or are we screwed, like, is that it? And so these were the ones from last year. So here's this and here's the new one. And these uh, old ones here, they had a different cap, but it was the same bottle as uh, Jet Black, the original Jet Black. Uh, so that's how that one was done because it was just done as a limited edition one-off. The only reason this did come back though is because of the reception it got and the emails and uh, requests from you guys. So shout out to you, Jet Black Enigma, back to life. Perfumer of that one, Ilias Armanitas. And uh, that one is a fantastic fall and wintertime fragrance, great performance with it. Very spicy and sweet, really sexy. 
I love that one. I wore the heck out of it last year. There's a lot of information on Jet Black Enigma uh, from videos that I shot last year in case you wanna check those out. The scent is the same, didn't get reformulated, just a different presentation now that it has an official release. That one doesn't matter as much, I guess, because it has been out before. The new ones, let's talk about those. First up, Blue Ridge. Yes, I love this scent. So I asked you guys uh, quite a while back, what would you want me to do fragrance wise? Like if you could have me do one type of fragrance, what would it be? Overwhelmingly, you guys said a blue fragrance. That's what this is. And the name Blue Ridge, obviously uh, with me being in Northeast Tennessee, uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains, very close by, and I've done quite a bit of hiking in them over the years. So yeah, that's the uh, the inspiration behind this one, obviously, and the, the packaging and everything. Uh, same deal up top, Michael Malul X Gen Sense. Got the notes on the back. Citron, Italian Mandarin, and Black Currant in the top. Lavender, Ozonic Accord, and Cedar Leaf in the mid. And then Patchouli, Leather Accord, and Sandalwood in the base. And this one is done by Fabrice Pellegrin. He's done a lot of stuff over the years. He did Amouage, Bracken Man, Sunshine Man, uh, Low Major DC, and Low Super Major DC. He did Azaro Wanted. He did uh, a whole bunch of Diptyque fragrances, including Eau Duel and uh, Volutes, which is one of my favorites. He did uh, Lalique Linsumi. He did uh, Killian Smoke for the Soul, a whole bunch of fragrances. And here is the bottle for Blue Ridge. Now I've got to tell you guys, if you are after the fragrance that will get you the most compliments of these, that will get you the most attention, it is this one. This is just insane, the amount of attention that it will pull you. It's a, it's a compliment beast. And I fell in love with this immediately when I first smelled it. It went through some different iterations, modifications and everything to get it just right. But this is one of the ones where I smelled it as a submission and I knew right away, like, yep, we got something here. Very, very quickly also, in case you're unaware of how that whole process goes, uh, essentially I worked with Fermanish on all of these. And so I wrote up a brief where I said, okay, this is you know how I want the fragrance to smell. These are potential notes. This is the inspiration behind the fragrance, include pictures, uh, you can include videos, you can include music, whatever you want with the brief in order to get across the idea of, okay, this is what I'm looking for. Then the perfumer will take your brief. They'll work on uh, different fragrances, different iterations of ideas based off your brief. Then they send you uh, submissions, which come in little bottles, little bottles like this. And uh, then you smell them, you wear them, obviously, and you give your uh, your feedback and you say, okay, I'd like a different version where you do this, 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 whatever. And you work back and forth, back and forth until you get the final version. Blue Ridge is massively fresh. Like when you spray this on, it is one of those blue scents that is just like uplifting and inviting. As I said, very fresh, uh, a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. You could say that it's in like a similar, <laughs> family as like the YSL Y line to an extent. Like as far as the really big blue fragrances, if I were going to say, you know, if you like this, then you'll like this. That's the line that I would point to the most. And that freshness lingers for so long here. Like I can't tell you how well this is done for me. And it's just so addictive. Like I absolutely am in love with this stuff. I will tell you the uh, leather in the base is, is not super strong or anything. Don't worry about that. The leather doesn't come across in any kind of way that lends any sort of animalic feel. There's none of that here at all. The citrus black currant opening is different than your more typical citrus and ginger. You know, it gives you a, a different kind of twist on that open. The lavender lends you this classically masculine touch, but it's done in a very, very modern way. And then that Ozona Accord, of course, helps just maintain that freshness as it wears on your skin. So Blue Ridge, this stuff, ah, I cannot tell you how psyched I am that this is finally out. Now, to be fair and completely straightforward here, Blue Ridge was not made for somebody who is hardcore into ultra artistic fragrances or anything. That is not at all what I was going for with this one. I was going for maximum wearability, maximum compliment factor, versatility, the type of scent that somebody could make an absolute staple out of their wardrobe. That's what I was going for here. And then the last one is Terra Nova. This one was done by Hamid Marathi Kashani. And if you don't know who that is, he's behind some of the biggest fragrances from Parfums de Marly. And when I say that, what do I mean? Well, 
Leighton, Leighton Exclusive, Pegasus, Pegasus Exclusive, Percival, Sedley, and also a caster. Yeah, that one's not, not quite as big, but still, those are some heavy hitters. He's also done stuff with Goldfield and Banks and Fragrance Dubois, among other brands. And he did Terra Nova. So this one has a top of bergamot, lemon leaves, and golden lotus, a mid of violet, sandalwood, and ambroxan, and a base of black, amber, patchouli, and tonka bean. And here is the bottle. Terra Nova is slightly green in the opening from that lemon leaf mixing together with the bergamot. And very quickly, that green feeling kind of steps back. It's not there for too long. And you get this very interesting golden lotus that almost smells honeyed, like this lightly honeyed sweetness that comes through very smooth mixes together with that little bit of woodiness the tonka the black amber and it becomes this this very masculine scent that is also extremely appealing a little bit classier than blue ridge and as blue ridge is it's also crazy addictive terra nova the first few times i smelled it i really liked it didn't know exactly which direction to take it uh, but the way that it worked out Man, it is so good, in my opinion. I mean, it settles into that that sweetness, that little bit of the little bit of woodiness, still being very modern, but with this like touch of class and sophistication where somebody middle-aged or older could pull it off just as easily as somebody young could. It's got a little more push to it than Blue Ridge, a little more heft to it, a little more depth, you know? It's a little bit heavier. It's a scent that I think you can wear easily all year any season, like Blue Ridge, when it comes around to winter time, probably gonna go for something else where that does lean on the fresher side of things, but Terra Nova, you can rock that whenever, daytime, nighttime, all year. The Ambroxan is not overdosed here. You can pick it up a little bit as it heads through the mid into the dry down, you know, it's mingling with the other notes, but it's not something where you're just being bashed over the head with it. I can't tell you how excited I am at how these turned out, like just, so pumped because anytime you go into something where you write a brief and you send it off, yes, you're excited, but there's also like nerves and there's a little bit of trepidation and you're kind of questioning, oh man, is this, is this gonna turn out well or is it gonna be, you know, you're trying to polish a turd essentially. Like you get these submissions back and you just go, oh, this is all terrible. Can you please redo it? You know, you, you, worry about that because it's a big deal when you're working with perfumers like this you don't want to give them crap to work with as far as the uh the brief goes and then you're worried you're not going to get back something that works the way that you were hoping it would when it all started so there's that bit of nervousness you know when everything kicks off but it worked out so well and i am beyond pumped at how these are i think that if you're looking for a fragrance that just ticks the boxes as far as what most people are looking for, because that again is what you guys told me you wanted. So two different iterations on that style. And uh, I'm gonna ask you guys once again, what type of fragrance would you like to see me tackle next? And we'll see what we can do, because it's gonna be back to the drawing boards. Again, uh, 140 retail, use the code Gent Sense. That'll get you 20% off and then it'll be 112. 100 mil size bottles on these. And also last year there was no shipping to Europe. There is about to be. It's not ready to go yet. I think it's supposed to be December uh, the 5th and I have the country. So December 5th and might get pushed back a little bit, uh, but that's what they're looking for for international shipping. I've got the countries here, I'm gonna read them off. So if you're in one of these countries, we'll be able to ship these to you soon. Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, uh, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, uh, the Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Sweden, and the UK. I've always tried to go out there at the end. Whoa. And you will hear me talking about these going forward, absolutely, because I am in love with these. Like, when I tell you I'm going to be wearing these like crazy, that's no lie. Like Jet Black Enigma, I went through a whole bunch of that last year. And Terra Nova, I've been wearing out here lately. Blue Ridge, I already have worn out a bunch. And also very quickly, uh, they released two fragrances for women. I didn't have anything to do with these, but they're both really good. So one's called Siesta Key, the other is called Upper East. I'll read the notes for you. Siesta Key has a top of mandarin, dragon fruit, and guava, a mid of jasmine, peony petals, and mango blossom and a base of cedarwood, sheer amber and musk. And my wife already stole this bottle. 
like she's already taken it. It's her style, like very fruity, fresh, a uh, little tropical, really good. I actually like Upper East a ton. This one's a little bit creamier. Has a top of bergamot, cardamom, and apple leaf, a mid of lavender, geranium, and soft suede, and a base of cedar, vanilla, and amber resin. Those are both great lady scents. I've talked forever, guys. I know through editing the video is shorter, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce again. Uh, thank you everybody that helped me get to this point. Links in the description to these. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. You know what you're getting with these and they will crush it for you. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you again another day with another video, uh, like tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> oh my God, besties. I guess you open some of these and like write a little card to somebody and put it in there. That way it's like a surprise. I'm just gonna watch you walk. <laughs>